When Phuket's tourism industry was brought to its knees by the global health crisis, business owner and single parent Pimonta Suksayan, known to friends as Mickey, went to a dark place. I was so hopeless to the point that I wanted to commit suicide because I can't carry on anymore. It all changed when one of my neighbors, who was a foreigner and owned a restaurant, killed himself. That was a wake-up call for me. I realized that even if I die, nothing would get better. Nothing would be the same, or even worse. So I decided to pick myself up and fight again. Pimonta is the owner of a small restaurant with apartment rooms called Mickey's House, close to the famous Patong Beach. As vaccinated foreign tourists flew into the Thai resort, under a pilot reopening program on Thursday, there was fresh optimism. If the government isn't willing to take a risk with the Phuket Sandbox program, nothing would change. Even if tourist arrivals increase by only 5 to 10 percent, or even just 1 percent, I will still have hope because this is the only thing I have left. Under the scheme, vaccinated foreign tourists will not have to spend any time in quarantine and can move around the island freely. After 14 days, provided they test negative for the virus, they can travel elsewhere in the country. Thailand lost about $50 billion in tourism revenue last year, as foreign arrivals plunged 83%. Phuket was hit particularly hard by job losses and business closures. Pimonta has tried to adapt by selling pizza on the beach and offering transport and laundry services to pay off over $15,000 of debt. Everything now hangs on a successful reopening.